today on Tease Time, we're going to focus on getting a Percy the Van wired for trail lights. So that is today. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Tease Time. I'm TJ. I hope life is treating you well. Uh, if this is your first time checking me out, I build things. <laughs> uh, but today we're going to focus on getting Percy the Van here wired up for our trailer lights. In the future, I plan on being able to pull a cargo trailer, a car trailer. Uh, so in order to do that, I need a, a seven-way, which I have right here by Kurt, seven-way blade connector. Um, if you already have a vehicle that has an adapter, go the adapter route. Do not hardwire, which I'm about to do right now. Unfortunately, I'm not at the, the leisure of luxury of being able to just Google what I need and be able to find it and just plug stuff in. If you could just plug stuff in, go that route. If you don't have to hardwire, which I'm about to do, go to mount but uh in order to do that you're going to need uh the most important part that you will need you need this test light right here test light and multimeter second is what the the most important parts that you will need for this install so uh this is uh duct tape which i'm going to use to label all the wires once i find the the pin outs or find the wires with the test light here i'm going to label each wire uh this since my van is not pre-wired for trailer brakes I looked, I called Freightliner, <laughs> they said no, I looked for myself also, I couldn't find anything that was pre-wired for trailer brakes. Uh, so uh, the blue is usually what is used for trailer brakes. So I'm going to use that, that this is going to be our power our auxiliary, I'm going to run it straight from uh, the seven way here to our battery. And this is a ground that I'm going to use. Uh, these are all 10 gauge, so you need that, you'll need some uh, additional uh, like buck connectors or some splices and uh, wire cutters, strippers, pliers, screwdriver, center punch right there to mount the seven way. And uh, I have an electrical tape. These are just kind of like if I need to make uh, some tracers so I know like where wires go where, like you have like two of uh, like black wires running next to each other. It's good to just put different colors on and kind of helps you find them later on if you need to. Uh, we're going to have dielectric grease because we're going to fill our seven way up. Once I get the wires in there, I'm going to throw dielectric grease in there to kind of keep this from uh, corroding and having any issues with that with rolled grime, salt, water, moisture. This will help you. And this is just to clean up the wires and stuff so that way I can see the colors better. Uh, and then just have something better for the, the tape here to adhere to while I'm making the labels. Uh, but also, online there's a lot of outlets for uh like wire diagrams and instructions so uh the seven way that i'm going to use i'm using the sae seven way seven way comes in a, a couple different different ones uh like if you're pulling like a rv camper it has a, a different pinout but they're both seven ways you just have a sae and then you also have right here for like your fifth wheel trailer campers rv standard so uh go online print this out do not go by the the colors that are on like the paperwork just don't just assume that the colors are going to match because the wire coloring might be different for different functions uh, so that's where the test light comes in but like do not do not do not do not just go straight off of this you do not want to connect like your power to ground and end up screwing something up so uh definitely verify with your test light which i'm going to show you how to uh, but if you could find any kind of material online that could help you like I'm gonna use this so you could actually see Like what I'm going off of is just like which function controls what like your ground your brake controller Your stop light brake light turn signals reverse light your hot and then your uh, running lights So uh, don't go by the colors here though. I, I wouldn't trust that uh, That's just me like unless you could find like online like an adapter to just plug and play then go by that uh, but I'm gonna verify so uh, in order to do so Let me actually just show you I can show you better than I can tell you uh, so As you can see I already started this is what I was talking about like I was looking behind the dash Just trying to find out if I was already pre-wired for uh, For uh, like a trailer brake and unfortunately I'm not so that's why I have to like run that blue wire That's control is the electric brakes on a trailer so when you tap your brakes on your uh, your van or your truck or your car, whatever you're using, uh, this right here, it will send a signal through the blue wire back to your trailer and actuate your electric brakes if it's equipped with electric brakes. There's different types of brakes. 
Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> that is not my case. Uh, so in order to find like the pinouts, you're gonna have to go function by function. So you're gonna have to do a left turn signal, right turn signal, your running lights, your brake lights, your reverse lights, but you're just gonna have to go function by function. And this is why you're gonna verify your colors you know, or you're gonna verify the function of the wire and then use the duct tape to, to label them. So uh, just take your time. You know, if you have two people make your life easy, you could just hang out under the vehicle and just scream out the functions that you want and then you could just verify, but like, I'm gonna have to run back and forth. So I'm gonna show you on our left turn signal how to do that and I'm gonna label stuff, but like, I'm not gonna run the camera back and forth, but like, this is for our, our left turn signal. So a uh, test light, actually grab that duct tape. So we have our duct tape. I'm gonna go out into the darkness and figure this out. So this is the harness, which I believe is for our, our trailer brakes. There was like a little socket that covered that. I took that off already. So uh, right now, we're gonna do your take your test light. Get this situated. Gotta find the ground. And then you just probe until you find, oh, there we go. As you can see, uh, it's mimicking the left blinker. So that's the left one. And actually, let me uh, clean that up first before I even get started. And I'm gonna cut this wire, cut the wire right there, zip tie. I'm gonna cut that to get this loose. So I have more slack, so I don't have to probably be all the way under here. We'll see how much slack I have. But uh, let me go get that. I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna clean up some of these wires so I can see like the colors better because they're very dirty. So that way it's easier for the tape to adhere to. I can label them, make sure it's clean, easy. The key is easy. <laughs> So we have 
This is our reverse light. Does light green? Uh, brown is our running lights. Our left turn signal is yellow. Our right turn is the dark green. And I'm not going to use this red or this black right there. The red, it gets uh, power when you step on the brakes. Uh, so for the seven way, the brake is also, uh, it goes through the green, the dark green and the yellow to give you your brake lights. And then the black, I believe is the ground. So I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm just gonna run a separate uh, ground off of the seven way plug itself and ground it out to the chassis. And when I was doing with the, the test light for the, the light green for the reverse, I was just stabbing the wires when I had the in reverse and the reverse lights were on and everything like that. I was just using uh, the test light because uh, that's like that metal point right there. You can see, and if you just stab the, ne the needle into the wire, uh, you can test it that way instead of just trying to cut it or trying to find the beginning or end. If you just stab it in there, it'll pick up on it. So uh, that's how we determined that. So I'm going to do a, a clip-on connector to splice into that for our reverse lights. Um, and let me get from under here. All right, now that we have everything labeled, and like I said before, this is going to be our uh, auxiliary power. This is going to be our brake, the blue, and the white we're going to use for the ground. Uh, but right now, I'm going to mount this. This is a Kurt model number 58417. And uh, for a, like a full list of everything I'm using, uh, check down in the bottom in the description. Like I'll list all this stuff so it makes life a little easier for you. I love making life easy. <laughs> uh, so right now, I just got to figure out the location. And I'm thinking like right here somewhere right there should work nice Right, and this is where uh, the center punch will come in handy. Let's see.
All uh, right, so we got the holes drilled out for our mount. So the fun part is actually uh, wiring this thing up. Or before I even start this, I'm gonna run uh, the ground. Well, I don't really need to run that. I'm gonna mount that on the chassis. But uh, for the blue wire for our trailer brake and then our uh, auxiliary power, I have to just follow that line all the way <laughs> up into the cab where uh, the connectors will be. And just give yourself a lot of like not even a lot but just enough extra so that way if you have to make the connector shorter further away you have plenty because like once you cut the end well you could add on with a splice but like try not to do that try to avoid that uh less failure points so uh let's just run the wire the wire ran for our trailer brake and then also our auxiliary power that's ran uh, so the next thing is to just go out back go out back make our connections uh, like I said earlier uh, don't go by the color chart itself actually use the test light to figure out which wires are which uh, all the wire colors they do match up uh, for what I have except for uh, the reverse light instead of uh, purple it uses a light green as you can see there uh, reverse is the only one with a different color uh, like I said just double check to make sure that's right so uh, right now I'm gonna just uh, assemble the ground cable get that situated get the the electrical connector on the end uh, crimped up in uh, heat shrunk and we're gonna connect that and just make our connection at the seven way. And uh, this is the green extra spare wire I have that I'm gonna splice into uh, for uh, the reverse light. Uh, so I don't have to like cut it and then do like a, a buck connector. I'm just going to use the quick crimp uh, splicers to connect that. And it's uh, light green also. So like the colors do match. I did write light green. If I had purple, I would have used purple uh, for the reverse lights. But uh, I just had light green. And uh, the wire that's on there is light green. So I'm just going to stick with the light green. And I uh, just have this cheat sheet. So like if I do have to like change the connector. Like if, you, if I were to pull like a RV like a little camper behind it 
I could switch it up and then I have an adapter that goes seven way to a four way, five way, make life easier. But uh, yeah, just uh, keep that in mind and just keep that like with uh, your paperwork or whatever. So in the future, if you do have to do anything else with this again, you have your cheat sheet, make life easier. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to connect the ground. I have a self tapping screw and just going to find a good ground, connect that, and then we just got to hook up the seven way.
All right, and bada boom, bada bang. We're finished. Um, the hardest part, I think, was running the, the wire. It kept getting jammed on something. I don't know what it was. The wire I was running for the electric brakes and the auxiliary power kept getting caught on something. Uh, but we have all that fed through. It's up to the front. Uh, all the pinouts are done. They're marked. They're correct. They're in there. When you finish, I will go back around and retest all like the, the functions to make sure that they match up to where they're supposed to be just to be on the safe side. Uh, it's up to you. <laughs> I would. Um, but it's in. It's installed. I'm pleased with that. And... Yeah, that's it. And then for uh, the connector, the ones that I cut off, I left the other wires on there. I'm just going to tape all that stuff up. So just when you get everything ran and everything's up and you rechecked to make sure everything works, uh, just zip tie, electrical tape, wrap everything back up and get it up out the way so it doesn't shave on anything. And then that's it. And on the next video, we'll get into the, the electric brake. I'll do the install and that'll be connecting that blue wire to the electric brake and also that uh, the black wire for auxiliary power. Uh, we're going to connect that at the same time we do all of that. So uh, right now, the seven ways in. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, hit me up. Leave a comment in the bottom. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I appreciate the time. Peace. TJ.